What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Cooking with Ragnarok. And today we're going to be mixing up doing something a little bit different. So fellas, let's say you finally got that girl to come back to your place. Ladies, you finally got that man to come back to your place. Or whatever you identify with, you got whatever you prefer to come back to your place. But let's say you have an office party and everybody's supposed to bring something and you wait until the last second and now you don't know what to bring. So you think, oh shit, what do I do? Well, I can't really cook, so what can I bring? I'll bring a dessert. Desserts are easy. I'll go to the store and get a box of donuts. Nah, don't do that. I'm going to show you all what you can do. Bam. All right, so what we're going to do today is make a chocolate trifle dessert. Not my name, but I'm sure it's got many different names on the internet. So the first thing we got to do is preheat the oven for 350 degrees, which is what we're doing now. Okay. Now, this dessert can be made for about $10 and feed a number of people. The ingredients you see before you, not including the bowl, I got for about $9.44, and that was even splurging on a few things. So you could probably get it for even cheaper, especially if you'd be couponing. That's besides the point. All right, what you're going to need? Some chocolate cake mix, some Heath bars, or, you know, if you want to use something else, be my guest. Two packs of chocolate pudding, an eight ounce container of whipped cream, some milk, and of course the ingredients for the cake. You know, water, oil, eggs. Now I know what some of you are all thinking. Why would you use store-bought mix? Because we're tight on time and we like to cook on a budget. That's all you need to know, first up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prepare the cake. We have a 13 by nine inch pan here. We can go ahead and get that to work. All right, so we have the cake mix, the water, the oil, the eggs. Now all we gotta do is stir it. Now this is the part where somebody would reach for the little, you know, thing and you look, you look the things afterwards. I ain't got all that. You know, I do this stuff by hand, which is fine. But don't worry, this is thirsty work, so make sure you pour yourself a little something. But remember the cardinal rule of cooking and life, whether you're at work or at home. Don't ever let anybody know what you're drinking out of the coffee cup. It's between you and the coffee cup. Bad too. It's good. Love it. All right, let's make this cake real quick. And we are back. The cake mix was successfully mixed. Now we did want to grease the bottom of the pan with a little bit of oil. You want to make sure it doesn't stick that way. We're going to let that sit for, well, let's see. The box says 13 by 9 would be 26 to 31 minutes. I'm probably going to do like 25, really, because I don't want it to be, you know, too firm or whatnot. You know, that's, that's just my preference on it. But man, we worked up quite a, you know, breath. <laughs> see, I can't even speak. Lost my breath stirring that shit up. I'm out of shape. I'm old. Need a drink. Don't tell nobody what you drink. Ah, mm, like spinach to Popeye. All right. So now we're gonna get back to the second part of this recipe. Not the Heath bar, the motherfuckers. Relax. We'll get to that. All right. Now we got to make the pudding. Okay. Like I said, very simple. Two packets of chocolate pudding, and you're gonna need oh, well, three cups of milk, I suppose. Your preference on the kind of milk you use. I I got whole milk, but that's just me. Let's go ahead and make this pudding real quick. See if I can do this with one hand. Probably not. Not many things I can do one-handed. Anyway. There we go. Get all that in there. <laughs> all right. I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't we clean the bowl out? Why would we do that? Ugh, unflavored pudding. Um, anyway, why would we want to do that, man? We already got that good old chocolate in there, you know, get that little bit of cake flavor into the pudding. It's all going to mix together anyway, right? Really makes a difference, so. Yes, sir, $9.44. That's all this dessert is going to cost us. Go ahead and let's see. We need, I say three cups? Three cups of cold milk. All right, hold up. Hold up, I'm going to put you all right, just follow the sound of my voice. I am still here. You are still listening to A Tribe Called Quest. 
That's right. You can't beat the classics, baby. A tribe called Quest. Gotta say the whole thing every time. There's one half. There's one. One half. I don't have any whole cup things, so I'm using half a cup at a time. Two. Oh, shit. Uh, call that half. And three. All right. You know it's cooking, man. It ain't, it ain't got to be exact every time. It's a feel, not always an exact science. We need one more pack to put it in here. Hold up. <coughs> Damn. Alright. Oh. Uh, still here. Mm, mm. Alright. We good. Don't worry about all that. <coughs> Bam. Put the mix up in there. There we go. Alright. Get a drink. Alright, I am going to beat the pudding real quick. I'll meet you guys back here in a second. So, the cake will be done in a little bit. The pudding is mixed. Now, what we can do while we're waiting is cut up them teeth bars. Now, I know what you're thinking. They're already pretty small. That ain't really the point. See, what you want is you want to get them a little smaller. That way, when you take a bite of the pudding, it's like, damn, you can feel that crunch. You know, that heat bar, that delicious-ass heat bar. Or whatever candy you decide to throw up in. A little hard to do with one hand, but that's okay, because we don't got the budget for a camera crew. We're going to go ahead and just, it uh, doesn't really matter. You know, you don't got to be super neat. It's just a one-handed operation here. Let's pretend you're working at like a Baskin Robbins or some shit. Just trying to get a nail on the floor. Hold up. Take the drink at all costs. Mm. Damn, that's good. Can't tell you what it is, though. Could be soda, could be juice. Alright, uh, <clears throat> this is a little hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna let y'all go, but don't worry, I'm gonna be right back and then we'll get on to the next step. I right. Damn, we're gonna work out tonight. Okay. Mm. The cake is almost done, but while we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and just roll these toffee bits, these heat bars, up into the pudding mix. Don't worry, I already know what y'all gonna say. Did you clean them counters? I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, I clean them. Don't worry about it. Wanna scrub these shits down. Always clean your cooking area before you start. All that up, and don't worry, it don't gotta be pretty. We're not creating a new Mona Lisa or a new Sistine Chapel. We're just literally throwing chopped up candy into a giant bowl of pudding. We need to add a little bit more milk to that. All right, hold it real quick. All right, y'all, we are back, and we have everything we need to finish putting this bad boy together. So as you can see, we had to move the pudding into a new dish. I'm gonna use this bowl to take to work tomorrow. We ground up some more of the Heath bars. Now we wanted these to be a little bit finer because we're gonna use these as a topping as opposed to a filling inside the pudding. The cake turned out a little bit puffier than I would have liked, but that's okay because we're gonna to have to cut this into halves anyway. Basically the way this recipe works is we're gonna be making like a, a pudding cake lasagna type thing. What is it, overall? about ten dollars and about an hour's worth of work but trust me it's gonna pay off so let's get to it let me go ahead and ever so slightly like so perfect now that we got our cake our toppings our whipped cream our pudding and our drink mm. Damn, that's good. Y'all missing out. We can go ahead and start putting this bad boy together. 
So it's a relatively simple process. We're just going to layer the bottom of the bowl up to the top of the bowl. Cake, pudding, Cool Whip, cake, pudding, Cool Whip, or however you really want to do it. There's really no um, set method, but um, can't really do this one-handed, so you guys can check back with me after I've finished. Hang tight. And there you have it. We have our chocolate trifle dessert. Chocolate pudding lasagna, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's really, you know, whatever. But there you have it. There you go. Took, like I said, about an hour to put it all together. I uh, probably could have done a little faster if I wasn't filming it, obviously. But um, we did have a couple of leftovers. The cake turned out a little thicker than I would have liked, so I now have half of a cake. That's okay. Because the good thing about cooking is that leftovers are always welcome. Mm. And that's good. Don't let nobody know what you're drinking. But anyway, fellas, ladies, whatever you want to identify with. Like we said, this we made this for $9.44. We used a cake mix, two packets of pudding mix, one 8-ounce container of whipped cream, uh, three eggs, so a little bit of oil, a little bit of milk, and a bag of Heath bars. Now, if you don't want to use the whole candy bar, you can, of course, get the little ground-up bag that they have in the baking aisle. Uh, but I like having a little extra crunch in mine. That's perfectly okay. Uh, yeah, so you can't really go wrong with this recipe. It's a quick, easy dessert, and it's going to taste a lot better than anything you bought at the store in the bakery aisle. Let me just tell you that from experience. Impress people at your office party impress that little special somebody in your life but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and let that rest overnight take it to the office tomorrow and see what everybody thinks and if you haven't subscribed yet why haven't you man i got it. tech videos combo videos match videos cooking videos now apparently hit that subscribe button for future content you throw me a thumbs up if you like you know, it's all appreciated you can follow me at at bxa ragnarok on twitter or streamme.com slash BXA Ragnarok. I do stream uh, as well. I don't stream cooking. That'd be a little, a little hard with my current setup. But stay tuned for the next video. And I will see you guys next time.